Welcome back to Web API Tutorials. I am Venkat. In this video, let us create user update endpoint. In the previous videos, we have created user creation retrieval endpoints. In this video, let us create user updation endpoint. user dto update user async so this one is a boolean not user dto okay here um, we need to validate if dto is null or not argument null exception dot throw if null of dto so this is the new way of writing the argument null exception and here once the validation is done first we need to read the existing user existing user equal to repository dot get user so here we need to send the delegate user dot id equal to equal to dto dot id along with that so we were following the no tracking method for updating the records so send it for no tracking so if we need to validate this existing user if existing user equal to equal to null if existing user equal to equal to null so throw new exception what is the exception user not found with the id with the id dto dot id that's the exception so once the user found we need to update it so let's create user to update user to update equal to mapper dot map so what we need to create user so user record out of dto so we have created the user to update so user to update dot because we are we are updating it we need to fill the modified date when this record is modified date time dot now okay once all the fields are updated we need to save it that means repository dot update async okay user to update so because this one is a asynchronous method we need to put await and this one also asynchronous method we need to put await so do you remember when we are creating the pass uh, when we are creating the user we have created the password also right so we have created the password also so similarly when we are updating also we need to update the password right but normally so normally when we are updating it so we will when we are updating it so we will update only the user information okay so if he wants to update the password so we need to provide separate method to update the password okay 
this is actual scenario in real cases so we won't update the password as part of the update method we will provide them separate endpoint to update the password but we are practicing this is just a demo purpose we can update the password okay so let's update the password so you guys try to create separate endpoint for updating the password okay so for now for the demo purpose i am updating the password also okay so did you if there is a password provided from the end user along with the information so let us update the password and password salt okay so remember these two points so in real time you should not create or update the password as part of the user creation or updation you need to produce the you need to provide the separate endpoint for password creation or password update okay so like you can take the example of gmail creation or outlook creation or microsoft mail creation like that so they will take the personal information first they will create the username first then password right so we are doing a demo so i am updating it so once the password is updated okay so we are updating it so once the updation is done so let me return true okay so the method creation inside the service is completed let's go to the controller so inside the controller we need to provide the method so let's copy the method from somewhere yeah let's copy it so it's a update method update user async this one not required and this one also not required this one also not required so we have moved these lines into the service layer that's why not required so here we need to call what underscore user service dot update so here we need to pass it to the dto so we need to pass the dto to this method so here modify it to user so we have written these endpoints many times in the students controller that's why i am copy pasting and going faster so var result equal to i hope you are following so that's it so here we have updated the user and we are returning the response status equal to true status code okay and data equal to result okay all done so once we added this method once we added this method so don't forget to add that inside the interface okay so now run this one here we can see user update endpoint let us get the information first execute it so we can see two users copy one user information and minimize that and expand the user update try it out and let's paste it here and fill the data so what is the extra there so the password field is extra so user id is 1 okay name venkat let's modify it to venkat new and the password is earlier it was venkat or something i'm keeping the password as the same venkat new is active equal to true user type id 1 
okay so let's make it user type id 2 okay i have i have copied that information now it is ready to update the user one details okay so before doing that let's go to the database and check connect so let us see venkat and nehant user type id 1 and this is the password we cannot read it okay let's copy it here okay that's the password and password sort now let us click on execute here you can see it returned true 200 response that means updation successful let's go to the database it's venkat and one and something else in the password execute it okay let me remove this execute and you can see the username updated to venkat new and user type id updated to 2 so let me paste the old ones and copy so you can see password also updated this is different and this is different password salt also updated okay so this is how we can update the user so let me commit this code add all the details and its part 110 update user okay commit and sync yeah it's updated in the repository we can pull and check for the reference and that's the user update endpoint creation if you really like these videos please like so that youtube will recommend these videos to many people so i'm also gets encouraged and it will help me to do more videos thank you for more videos like this please like share and subscribe if you have any questions ask in the comment box you can find the important links git repository or whatsapp channel in the description thank you